What's the best pest shot for snake defense? Oh, you got snake juice on my face. Let's find out. If your neighbors are anything like mine, they don't like noise. Problem is, guns and bullets are kind of noise machines. The thing we have going for us with Pest Shot, though, is that it shouldn't be breaking the sound barrier, plus it's not one single bullet. So are any of these quiet enough to keep the neighbors from calling the cops? Not bad. Oh, that was a little worse. Holy shit, that sounded like a regular nine. And it even ejected too, oh man. I was not expecting that. <laughs> basically the same damn thing. It is basically a 38 special, that is crazy. <laughs> that one had some kick, wow. That was loud as crap too. It's like the semi-automatic ones <laughs> are the loudest ones, that's crazy. Ooh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Wow. Although I guess with 150 grains, you should probably be expecting something like that. <laughs> wow. And it was loud too. My gosh. I can tell you it is not going to be that one. For dang sure. Huge thanks to Explainer for hooking me up with several of these. And don't forget the banana save 7% and it really helps out the channel. I'm just going to say, your neighbors are probably calling the cops on all those shots. I mean, I, I don't know your neighbors, but my neighbors would be absolutely pissed. So that's what I'm going by. But if we do want to keep the noise down as much as possible, we're going to want to go with the 22 LR. Problem is, I don't know if it has enough juice to actually do anything to pests or snakes or, you know, whatever you're shooting at. So I have a series of different tests to find out. The first one being spread so Size. I wasn't able to find much information online about the average self-defense distance from pests or snakes or anything like that. But I'm thinking five feet is probably about the max. So let's see what kind of spreads we get at five feet, as well as how many pellets hit our little snake attacker here. And just so you know, we are going up considerably in weight with every sequential shot. First up, we have the 22 LR, which is 31 grains of number 12 shot. Apparently a thousand FPS, but I don't have any way to verify this. Now in a real life situation, obviously I'd be going for the head, but uh, I didn't realize the pattern was going to be so freaking tight on this, so uh, that's pretty reassuring. Up next we have the 22 Magnum. Number 12 shot again, just like the 22 LR, but this time it's an eighth ounce, which is right under 55 grains. Quite the jump. Now that is more the spread size I was thinking. Still a very nice looking circle pattern though. Our snake would definitely not be happy with that. Okay, I lied. The 9mm is not heavier than the 22 Magnum. It is 43 grains of number 11 shot. And I guess this is for all you pest shooting Californians out there because this one is lead free and my gosh, is it expensive. <laughs> Okay, now I know why I wasn't doing headshots. That was freaking terrible. I mean, we're getting to the point where I'm gonna have to start worrying about my GoPro right here. <laughs> from five feet. Up next, they couldn't make up their mind. I don't know why they wouldn't just call it 38 Special if it's for both, but uh, anyway, it's 100 grains of number nine shot. Oh, fuck. Yep, this is what I was worried about. As you could see, something came back and hit me right in the cheek there, and then something also came back and hit me right above the eyebrow. That shit hurt. Yeah, maybe if you're a big... Good spread size, though. For all the boomers packing their 1911s... Hey, two world wars. We got 45 auto with 120 grains of number nine shot. I believe this is the heaviest semi-automatic offering. All right, the rest of the shots are going to be on this box, so there's no chance of bouncing back. I say no chance, but watch it just uh, smash me in the freaking face again. Uh. <laughs> Nicely done, nicely done. Not only on the pattern size, but also not coming back at my face. I don't know what the hell was up with that 9mm. Quick note about the 45 ACP. It absolutely jammed the crap out of this Blackhawk here. Like, I, I don't even know if this is going to go back into commission. So, probably just stick to semi-autos with this one. Okay, I got it. I don't know if they all do this or what, but that cracked the crap out of the case, and then it just got stuck in the chamber. Second to last, we have the 45 Colt. 150 grains of number 9 shot. This is almost a shotgun right here. This is precisely why I was not wanting to use a box, but we still got a pretty freaking good spread. Last but certainly not least is our only true shot shell, the 410 two and a half inch with right under 220 grains of number nine shot. This is a crap load of shot. Oh, 
Oh, I'm so glad this is the last shot, but it should be the best. Oh, since it is an actual shotgun. Oh, that is definitely not the best. Still, there is a ton of pellets. The results speak for themselves, and the 9mm was freaking terrible. Thanks, California. Anyway, somehow the 22 lr came out on top again. And before seeing what each will do to a snake, let's see how deep each can go on bare ballistic gel. Well, if the goal is to give the snake or another pest a massage, I think we may have done that. That is barely any penetration. Let me grab my tape measure here. I mean, maybe enough for a pest, I guess. And that comes in right at about one and a half inches max. Well, maybe one and three quarters, but still freaking terrible. That does not give me high hopes for the 22 Magnum. Oh, uh, that's what I was afraid of. Same thing, just a lot more of it. Not the damn nine. Oh my gosh, it looks freaking terrible now. <laughs> Not the damn nine again, though. Okay, this is probably why you want to use a revolver. Just in case there's a whole nest of snakes or rats or whatever, you're going to want a second shot, and uh, semi-autos are definitely not going to offer that. Anyway, that one did a freaking number. I mean, it's still spread out like crazy, but that one did a freaking number. Let's see how deep the deepest one was here. Right at about 3 and 3 8 inches. Much better than both the 22s. And supposedly we're just going to keep getting better and better from here. My gosh, that looks terrible. <laughs> Man, that one did something weird, at least some of them did. It looks like a portion of them clumped together and then went off inside the block. <laughs> Pretty freaking crazy looking. But uh, let's check out the pen. Yeah, about the same as a 9mm. Just a lot more of it. And speaking of a lot more of it, 45 ACP time. Man, I love how tightly that 45 ACP clusters them together. Let's check out the t Ooh. Okay, some of them deviated from the normal path here. I just grabbed the tape measure, and the deepest point on that one is right at about four inches overall. Which, I mean, could be a good or bad thing, depending on if you're shooting indoors or, you know, whatever you're doing. The good old 45 Colts up next. Nice. This one also clustered them together pretty good as well. Let's see what that means for penetration. Ooh, not quite as deep as a 45 ACP. I mean, obviously you have more pellets, but not as deep a penetration. I don't know if I'm a fan of that. Time for the only real shotgun round, and boy does it have some recoil. Get better to the others at least. Revenge of the damn ballistic gel snake. That time the freaking wad came back and sliced my nose right here. I mean, I really don't think it sliced it, but it freaking hurt. Yeah, maybe if you're a... Anyway, what do we do to our ballistic gel snake in return? Quite a bit of shot on the whole face of the block right here. Let's check out the penetration. Ooh, I really don't have anything to gauge it off of, so let me grab the tape measure real quick and see. Surprisingly, the deepest point is three and three quarters. <laughs> my gosh, the rest of them are right around three inches. Other than the amount of shot and the 22 is really not penetrating well at all. I don't think there was a clear winner, but the thing is, snakes aren't made of ballistic gel. Damn right they're not. I'll let you know, I wanted to shoot real snakes so bad, but unfortunately YouTube is YouTube. So I had to improvise. Snakes are extremely tough on the outside and somewhat less tough on the inside. So this is what I came up with for our snake target. It is a rubber garden hose, damn it, rubber garden hose wrapped in electrical tape and filled with snake juice. Don't ask me how long it took to make these or how much electrical tape I used. I would just really appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribed. Anyway, let's see which cartridge does the most to our snake problem. Before we do though, if you want to learn a little bit more about gunsmithing, including diagnosing problems, ballistics, and even safe firearm handling. Yeah. Make sure to check out SDI.edu using the link in the description below. Mama always said don't trust a snake. All right, let's see if that one even busted the skin and got to the snake juice. Yeah, it did a little bit, although <laughs> looks like most of the shot did not. Jeez, that is a tough snake. But I think we could do a lot better than that, and I'm not saying the 22 mag is it, but let's do it anyway. Snake! Surely that one did a little better, if not for the amount of shot alone. Oh, oh yeah, we definitely got to the snake juice, but uh, as you can see, some of the pellets are stuck in the outer layer. My gosh, that is a tough snake. You're one slithering son of a gun. <laughs> I 
again, the shell got freaking stuck. That one better have done more. I mean, it flung it back a couple of feet, so <laughs> quite a bit more energy transfer. Let's see. Oh, ho, ho, the snake is slithering that son of a gun. I think we got most of the snake juice coming out. Now's where we start moving into some serious lead weight. This town ain't big enough for me and a snake. We really haven't seen any full penetration through the snake yet, so I'm wondering if this is it. You could definitely see some pretty decent shots on there. Let's see if... Oh, no, it definitely did not go through the other side. Did it even get to the snake juice at all? A little bit, but I thought it would do way more than that. This just isn't doing enough. I need to point blank these SOBs. You're in the wrong part of town, snake. Now that is what I'm talking about right after he rolled off screen. I just saw him slowly bleed out. I mean, uh, snake juice out, but uh, let's check out the damage. Oh, that is a pretty reinforced hose, so I could see why the other ones weren't going through. But oh my god, <laughs> more snake juice. It didn't even go through both sides point blank, basically. What the heck? This is a freaking tough snake. Okay, so maybe I made these a little too tough, but better than not being tough enough is what I always say. <laughs> Starting today, anyway, it's time for 45 Colt point blank. Get off my life. Long snake. Oh, he got snake juice on my face. That one was nasty, and if it didn't get through both sides, I don't even know anymore, but I hope that you could see that the snake juice is blue. Anyway, let's see if it got through both sides. <laughs> oh, man, it ripped it apart freaking amazingly, but definitely did not get through the backside. <laughs> Unless I'm looking at... This. Yep, definitely did not get through the backside. My gosh, these snakes are tough. And then there was one. No snake is a friend of mine. Seemed like that one also did a number, and I really don't think it went through both sides, but... What is going on here? Did it just shred the outside? Did I miss it? What is... What's going on here? I mean, it's leaking. Let's try that one more time, quick and dirty. Just like I like it. Guess I wasn't kidding about the dirty because that got everywhere. Holy shit balls, but that seemed to do the freaking trick. The snake is no longer with us. Basically ripped in half as well. <laughs> but does that mean I think the 410 is the best option? Probably not unless you live pretty far away from your neighbors, which most of us don't. So based on what I saw, I think the 22LR is just good enough for me. Let me know which one you guys prefer though. And if you want to see more testing videos, make sure to click here. And remember, don't let ballistics drive you bananas.